China, the dominant player, is refusing new investments in global battery manufacturing. Why now? Let's break it down. For years, China has been aggressively building its battery dominance, becoming the world's battery factory. But now, the game is changing. They're shifting their strategy, and the ripples are going to be felt across the globe. We're talking about the future of electric vehicles, renewable energy, and the entire tech landscape. So, buckle up, because this is going to be a deep dive. To understand this move, we need to talk about China's current position in the battery market. Right now, they're basically running the show. We're talking about a massive global market share in battery production, with companies like Cattle and BYD leading the charge. These companies aren't just making batteries. They're innovating at a breakneck pace. They've been investing heavily in research and development, pushing the boundaries of battery technology. And it's not just about smartphones and laptops anymore. Lithium-ion batteries, the kind China excels at producing, are the heart of the EV revolution. They power everything from Teslas to Nissans to those electric buses you're starting to see in your city. But it goes beyond EVs. These batteries are also essential for storing renewable energy. As the world shifts towards solar and wind power, the demand for efficient energy storage is skyrocketing. And guess who's been there to meet that demand? You got it, China. So, we're talking about a country that has strategically positioned itself at the center of two of the biggest technological shifts of our time, electric transportation and renewable energy. This dominance didn't happen overnight. It's the result of years of strategic planning, government support, and aggressive investment. But now, the game is changing, and the question on everyone's mind is why? Recently, we've started seeing signs that China is pumping the brakes on unfettered global battery expansion. There have been policy shifts, official announcements, and even whispers of tighter regulations, all pointing towards a more cautious approach. It's not a complete shutdown, but the days of throwing open the doors to massive foreign battery projects seem to be over. Instead, there's a growing emphasis on nurturing domestic innovation and keeping a tighter grip on the technologies they've worked so hard to develop. Think of it like this. Imagine you've spent years perfecting a secret recipe and suddenly everyone wants a piece of the pie. You might start being a little more protective of your ingredients, right? That's kind of what's happening here. China is becoming more selective about who they partner with and where they allow their battery tech to flow. This shift is causing some serious head-scratching in the global market. Companies that were banking on China's open-door policy are now scrambling to adjust their strategies. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room geopolitics. We can't ignore the ongoing trade tensions between China and the West, particularly with the U.S. and Europe. These trade wars have created an atmosphere of uncertainty and mistrust, and it's spilling over into the tech sector. Remember those export controls on critical battery materials we talked about earlier? Yeah, those are definitely playing a role here. See, China controls a significant portion of the world's lithium, cobalt, and other essential battery ingredients. By tightening the grip on these resources, they're essentially holding some powerful cards in the global tech game. Then there's the whole issue of Western countries trying to reduce their dependence on Chinese technology. Governments are starting to realize that relying so heavily on one country for such a crucial industry might not be the best idea, especially when that country is also a geopolitical rival. So you've got this perfect storm brewing trade wars, tech rivalry, and a growing awareness of the strategic importance of batteries. All of these factors are feeding into China's decision to be more cautious about its global battery investments. So what does this all mean for the rest of the world? Well, it's definitely shaking things up. China's decision to limit global battery expansion has huge implications for the entire industry. First off, it throws a wrench in the plans for global battery manufacturing capacity. Many companies were relying on China's expertise and manufacturing power to scale up production. Now they're faced with the challenge of finding alternative solutions, which isn't easy. This is especially problematic for Western EV makers. They're already facing pressure to ramp up production to meet the growing demand for electric cars. But without access to China's vast battery manufacturing infrastructure, it's going to be an uphill battle. But here's the thing. Every challenge also presents an opportunity. 
China's move could actually spark increased competition in other markets. As countries like the U.S., Japan, and South Korea sense an opening, they're likely to double down on their own battery initiatives. We could see a surge in investment, innovation, and maybe even some healthy competition to break China's grip on the market. Now, let's shift gears for a moment and talk about the environment. China has made a big deal about its commitment to tackling climate change, even setting ambitious goals to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. But here's the catch. Becoming the world's battery supplier comes with a hefty environmental price tag. Mining and processing all those raw materials for batteries is energy intensive and can have serious environmental consequences. So, China is facing a bit of a dilemma. They want to be seen as a leader in the fight against climate change, but they also want to maintain their dominance in a crucial industry that, let's face it, isn't exactly known for its environmental friendliness. This is where we see policies promoting greener technologies and circular economies come into play. China is investing heavily in battery recycling programs and pushing for more sustainable mining practices. They're also pouring resources into developing next-generation battery technologies that rely less on rare earth minerals and have a smaller environmental footprint. With China taking a step back from global battery expansion, the door is wide open for other countries to step up their game. And trust me, they're not wasting any time. We're already seeing massive investments in battery gigafactories popping up in the United States and Europe. Tesla's gigafactory in Nevada is just the tip of the iceberg. Companies like LG, Samsung, and Northvolt are also building massive battery production facilities. But it's not just the usual suspects. Countries like India, with its booming EV market, and those in Southeast Asia and Africa, rich in battery minerals, have a real opportunity to become major players in the global battery supply chain. Governments are also getting in on the action, offering juicy subsidies and incentives to encourage battery production and innovation within their borders. It's like a global battery arms race, and things are about to get very interesting. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, money. This shift in China's battery strategy is sending shockwaves through the stock market, and investors are scrambling to make sense of it all. First off, it's important to remember that the EV and battery markets are deeply intertwined. So, any major shakeup in the battery industry is going to have a ripple effect on EV stocks. Companies that are heavily reliant on Chinese batteries for their EVs could see their stock prices take a hit. On the flip side, companies that have diversified their battery supply chains or are investing in alternative battery technologies might come out ahead. This is where things get really interesting for investors. This shift creates opportunities for new players to emerge and for existing players to strengthen their positions. We could see a surge in investment in companies developing next-generation battery technologies like solid-state batteries or lithium sulfur batteries. These technologies have the potential to be safer, more energy-dense, and more sustainable than traditional lithium-ion batteries. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Well, the battery world is changing, and China's decision to limit global battery expansion is a major turning point. For investors, understanding China's strategy is crucial. It's no longer enough to just look at the EV market. You need to understand the battery landscape, the geopolitical factors at play, and the technological advancements on the horizon. On a broader level, this situation highlights the importance of diversifying supply chains for global energy security. Relying too heavily on one country for such a crucial component of the future of energy is a risky proposition. The good news is that this shift is also creating opportunities for new players to emerge and for innovation to flourish. We're likely to see a more competitive and dynamic battery market, which ultimately benefits everyone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below about how you think this will impact the future of the battery market. This is a conversation that's just getting started and I'm curious to hear your perspectives. What other factors do you think are at play here? Which companies or countries do you think are best positioned to capitalize on this shift? Let me know in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. See you in the next video.